Christ came to defeat all sin, not not just your neighbors or your buddies, but but yours as well. Even your deepest, darkest, most horrifying sin that you that you are so 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 ashamed of. Christ came for that too, and He came to truly, radically transform you, not to cover it up. Today is the feast of Saint Mary Magdalene. As we memorialize this incredible saint known as the Apostle to the Apostles, I think it's really important that we recall the, the central kind of message of her story. Now, as you know, or as you may or may not know, she was a tremendous sinner living a life of, of grave impurity. And the, the thing is, is I think as Christians, a lot of the times we can find ourselves worrying that we're not we're not healed and we're not really forgiven when we go to confession. Um, that that Christ is sort of uh, sweeping our ugliness and our messiness and our sinfulness under a rug uh, that, and, and he, he's sort of covering it up. And that's not, that's not why he, came, he became incarnate. That's not why he died for us. That's not why he rose from the dead. It's not why death has been defeated. Not to cover up the, the ugliness of sin, but to defeat it and to radically transform us, to, to truly change us. Uh, and that's exactly what happened with St. Mary Magdalene. Her sinfulness, her impurity was not merely covered up, but she was truly, deeply, profoundly transformed. And the redemptive nature of Christ's sacrifice on the cross is very real, and it's meant for you and for me. I think rather than getting caught up in, in just how bad we are and, and how much shame we have, and oh, look at me, I'm such a horrible sinner, there's no hope for me, it's sort of insulting, don't you think? Christ came to defeat all sin, not not just your neighbors or your buddies, but but yours as well. Even your deepest, darkest, most horrifying sin that you that you are so, so, so ashamed of, Christ came for that too. And he came to truly, radically transform you, not to cover it up. And I, I think those, those people that try to make exceptions, like I'm so bad, I can't be helped, aren't ready for that transformation because that transformation requires a big, uh, it requires many big steps on your part. First, admitting that you need God, admitting that you're sinful, and, and just like St. Mary Magdalene did, falling at his feet. The key message there that he, that St. Mary Magdalene experiences with Christ is repent and sin no more. Um, you're forgiven, but don't sin anymore. And I think we, we really miss that a lot of the times as Christians. I think uh, we go and, and we, you know, unburden ourselves in the confessional and then we go right back to our, our sinful our, um, our sinful habits and I think it's a struggle for so many of us there are those repeat sins where we, we sort of love the sin and, and can't can't rid we, we know it's wrong yet we continually go back to it over and over and over again and Saint Mary Magdalene could have returned to her sinful life it's the life that she had known for so long but instead she chooses Christ she listens to the words of Christ she knows that she has really been redeemed and what it takes is is laying down our very lives at, at the foot of the cross laying ourselves before the lord prostrate saying i need you please forgive me going to the confessional and making changes uh, to habits to to thoughts to to deeds so that we can really truly experience the radically transformative redemptive nature of the crucified and risen lord saint mary magdalene pray for us mm -hmm.